Good evening and welcome everyone to this gala night to celebrate 72 years of your Capuso Network. I'm Ato Maralio and I'm thrilled to bring you this short program with my beautiful co-host, the inimitable and very tall, Megan Young. <laughs> Thank you, Atom. I gave you a fair warning earlier that I, I was going to wear heels, <laughs> although I didn't tell him how high those heels were going to be. It's perfectly but, all right. <laughs> but you look amazing yourself, Atom. Thank and, you. you know, it's just really nice to be here in this ballroom and see familiar faces, see old friends, and getting to catch up with people that we've worked with or that we basically grew up with throughout the years. And it just feels right for everyone as we join Miss Jessica Soho, Ding Dong Dantes, Alden Richards, and Michael V on a throwback tour of our milestones and the role of our chairman and CEO in the evolution of GMA in the last 72 years. TV captured my imagination as a kid, and much later, as a reporter for GMA News, I realized that GMA had a proud tradition of timely, balanced, and truthful news reporting. It began with DZBB, and of course, the first political satire that kept people glued to their radios. As radio expanded to television, I remember the programs that my parents talked about through the years until I was old enough to come home to them from school. And I still remember many of them to this day. from a fledgling radio station in 1950 to the biggest and most awarded radio TV network in 2022. The network of choice with a reputable and most trusted news department. One may ask how we got to where we are now. Well, it all started 22 years ago at the dawn of the new millennium. The year 2000 was welcomed by GMA with a spectacular countdown televised live from Ayala Avenue in Makati as GMA participated in 2000 Today, a 28-hour new millennium countdown by countries from all six continents of the globe. It was an auspicious beginning for GMA because it was in the year 2000 when the GMA board elected a new chairman President and Chief Executive Officer in the person of Attorney Felipe Enrique Lapus Gozon, or simply FLG. This state-of-the-art studio is just one of the remarkable facilities FLG established for JMA News and Entertainment. At the start, FLG was uh, reluctant to manage a media organization. While he was already one of the country's best lawyers when he assumed his post as GMA's chief executive officer, he was not a broadcast person. Kaya, pinag-aralan niyang mabuti ang industriya at ang kompetisyon para gumawa ng sarili niyang diskarte. He provided a new vision. He appointed new officers and he enforced new management procedures to energize network staff and talents. At binigyan niya ng bagong brand ang GMA. Tinawag niya ito, Kapuso Network. Maalab at patok na patok ang Kapuso Network ni FLG sa buong bansa. Lalo pa sa mga bagong programang inilunsad sa GMA. Mga telepantasya, drama, musical variety at comedy shows na lalong pinaganda ng makabagong kagamitan sa telebisyon. 
This program's made GMA the most prolific and responsive radio and TV network in the country. Kaya naging number one tayo mga kapuso. Bilang kapuso, si FLG ang namuno sa pagpapalista ng GMA shares sa Philippine Stock Exchange para sa Initial Public Offering o IPO. Kaya lahat tayo mga kapuso ay nagkaroon ng pagkakataong bumili ng shares sa GMA. Mga kapuso, nadagdagan na rin tayo ng mga channels. Meron tayong uh, GTV, yung Halipop, at saka yung Art of Asia. Lahat yan mapapanood dun sa digital TV broadcast receiver natin, yung GMA Afford the Box. Mas marami na tayong uh, paraan para mapanood yung mga paborito natin mga TV shows. Hindi lang sa TV, ha? pati rin sa mga social media, patok din ng GMA live stream sa FB at saka sa YouTube. Sabi nga nila, FLG believes in reinventing television to meet the preferences of the new generation. Kagaya natin, mahilig din siya sa mga gadgets talaga. Alam nyo ba, 6 years old pa lang si FLG noon, nung uh, una siyang nagkaroon ng relo, ng watch. Uh, nakuha niya yan sa isang Amerikanong lumaban sa gera. Uh, pag, ano, pagdaan ng uh, mga sundalo, sumigaw siya ng... Victory Joe! Victory Joe! Kaya yun, natuwa sa kanya yung kato. Binigyan siya ng relo. Kaya ako eh, hindi magtataka kung balang araw. Bukod sa Afford the Box at dun sa Dongle, baka magkaroon din tayo ng GMA Wristwatch TV. Anong say mo, FLG? Victory Joe? <laughs> so ito nga yung kwento. Actually, ngayon ko nang din nalaman ito. May chika. Ito. Okay, chika. <laughs> so as a young boy, ang kwento, Si FLG, uh, he lived in Malabon, so he's living near the Malabon River, and he wanted to show off his swimming skills to everyone. So he dived or dove into the river. Unfortunately, as he was getting up to the surface to swim, his head hit the underside of a salambaw. Yung salambaw ay parang balsa uh -oh. na ginagamit ng mga fishermen. So yun, nagkaroon siya ng malalim na sugat, a deep gash on his head that needed some stitches. And in order to do that, they had to shave his head. So, talagang kalbo. So, wala na siyang buhok. Kailangan talagang tahiin lahat. Yes, kinalbo talaga ah. siya. So, nung nakita siya ng kapatid niya, ang sabi niya, ay, si Henry. Sino yun? Mahirap yung reference na yun. Kasi medyo luma na po yung reference. Okay. Sabi sa script ko, <laughs> he was a popular American comic strip character, isang maliit na bata na lalaki, na malaki ang ulo, pero... Kalbo. Kalbo, exactly. <laughs> So, yun. That is the origin story. At totoo yun, Megan, because oh. nasa autobiography niya mismo yun. So, we hope that uh, this little story uh, gives you uh, some insight into the character of our beloved FLG. It's a nice fun fact. Exactly. It's a nice fun fact. So, the entire Capuso family would like to give Attorney Gozon something, something else. And this is our big surprise for Attorney Gozon on GMA's 72nd anniversary. A special thank you to the man who helped make all of this happen. How he came to be known as Henry is just one of the funny stories about his childhood. He knew all the kalokohan during his childhood. He was always getting himself in trouble. Like when he was in grade school, he threw a paper airplane that landed directly on his teacher's head. He knew all the latest games during his time. Sex, trumpo, gagamba, kung ano man yun. But he was also a loving son to his mother. Growing up, they lived in a very small and simple house and he would see his mother working very hard. One day, he told her, Nay, isang araw, papagawan kita ng bahay na ginto. My Lola never forgot that. And true to his word, he was able to provide a good home for her. He was an obedient son to his father, except for the time his father caught him playing billiards while he was supposedly attending classes in law school. My dad was about to hit the billiard ball with his cue stick when the stick hit something from behind. It was my Lolo. My Lolo just looked at him, did not say anything, and walked away. After that, my dad stopped cutting classes and started studying hard and ended up being one of the top students of his law school class. His life in UP Diliman played a major role in building his character and it would also prove to be significant in his personal life as well. He met my mom in UP when my mom was just a 15-year-old BS Chem freshman and my dad asked one of his friends if he knew her. His friend said yes so they were introduced by this friend to each other. 
It turns out that my mom had no idea who that friend was. He was persistent. He walked daily from the law school building to the AS building just to fetch and bring my mom to and from her classes. They were together for 12 years before getting married, and the rest is history. He also taught us to value family above all things. Growing up, he was very strict with us and would push us to excel. In fact, he refused to sign our report cards in school if we were not the very top of our whole batch. We, his children, slept in one room with him and my mom until we all got married so that he would know where we were at all times. That is how protective he is. He is a loving father. He has always given us everything we need while making sure we stay grounded. FLG treats his employees just like the way he treats us, his own children. Strict, but understanding, firm and straightforward, but always, always forgiving. In fact, his anger inside the boardroom stays in the boardroom. Outside, he's always his usual jolly self. He does not mince words, we all know that. But thankfully, he never holds grudges. He pushes us to always try our hardest so that we can be the best version of ourselves. He wants everyone to realize the value of hard work because he has worked hard all his life, even up to now. He puts a premium on honesty, ethics, and transparency. And this is because he is a man of integrity and he has nothing to hide. He possesses a lot of things, but his most valuable possession is his faith in God. His favorite life motto is this, and it hangs on his office wall. When you leave everything in God's hands, you see God's hands in everything. He always says that, Kamay ng Diyos, Kamay ng Diyos. The entire network staff, production and technical core, and GMA artists honor our Chief Executive Officer, Felipe Lapus Gozon. The Capuso symbol of appreciation will be presented to by Mr. Ding Dong Dantes. Now, unfortunately, Attorney Gozon is unable to join us this evening to receive the symbol of appreciation in behalf of Attorney Gozon is his very own daughter, Ms. Annette Gozon Valdez. Good evening to everyone. Unfortunately, my dad can't join us tonight. He was feeling under the weather, but he was able to see all of you and the events online. So on his behalf, he prepared a speech and I will be reading it. Honorable members of the Senate, of the House of Representatives, of the Executive Department, of the Judiciary, distinguished guests, my GMA colleagues, mga kapuso, good evening. We are indeed living in extraordinary times, very far and different from when GMA Network was just starting. Getting to where we are was not easy. The past years have been challenging for the industry and the world. As we all know, a magnitude 7 earthquake hit Abra a few days ago. We've seen downpours, contagions, global tensions that we have never seen before. 
But I won't go further tonight into these as we are here to celebrate. What I want to say is that through it all, we have been so blessed and we are grateful to the good Lord for allowing us to survive and flourish. Tonight is not about programs or ratings or revenues. This night is for all of you. To our beautiful and handsome artists, thank you for sharing your craft with us. Some of you have only dreamed of setting foot in GMA or seeing a glimpse of your idols. Now, you are seated at the same table, not as fans, but as friends and colleagues. Some of you have grown up in GMA, while others we have warmly welcomed into our family. Remember that as celebrities, you have the power to captivate and change lives. I urge you to use these gifts wisely. To the creatives and producers, thank you for filling every program and every story with your passion and heart. I am excited to see the groundbreaking stories that you will tell. To our valued partners, we are honored that you're here to celebrate with us. We look forward to a mutual beneficial journey with you in the years to come. Let me also express my kudos to Sparkle, who have put in tons of work for this gala. Thank you and congratulations to the Sparkle team for making this wonderful event possible. Thank you also to all the departments for giving their full support to this special event. In GMA, there is one corporate value that tops everything else, and that is, we place God above all. Mga kapuso, let us offer our talents and our lives to God and watch what happens. To paraphrase my favorite quote, he who sees God's hand in everything can leave everything in God's hand. May our 72nd year start a sparkling century of superior entertainment and responsible news and information. Please stay safe and healthy, mga mahal kong kapuso, and let's enjoy the party tonight. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Annette Gozon-Valdez.